welcome back to the channel guys what can i say apart from wow there's nothing else i can possibly say to kind of describe my surprise i mean i wasn't able to watch the launch um as i was working but to see what nvidia have concocted what they have unleashed is just making me grin from ear to ear i, I think this is going to be the the turning point in in computer gaming that we've been waiting for we finally got the cards that can really really do 4k 60 fps it doesn't matter what you put on it all the bells and whistles and then we can just build from there i mean you've got an entire stack that can beat out an rtx 2080 ti we're talking the 3070 the 3080 and of course the 3090 which is um something that is looking ridiculously monstrous from what I can see. What I can't get my head around is the CUDA cores. They've more than doubled what we were expecting. Uh, let's quickly go through what was announced. You've got the RT, you've got the RTX 3070 with a proposed 5,888 CUDA cores. Um, the manufacturing process still unknown at this time, but um, we had a few leaks saying it was going to be on 7 nanometer, but it turns out it's on 8 nanometer, which is what a lot of YouTubers like Moore's Laws, Dead, and um, a few other guys, I think even Jim from Adore TV was saying it as well, but they got that right, which is, which is nice to see, because 7 nanometer was kind of like, well, if it's on 7, why is it drawing 350 watt of power? So that's kind of answered that question, but... 5,888 CUDA cores is more than what we were expecting on the RTX 390. Now let's just put that to one side. The RTX 380, which is looking like the the true champion, the, the buyer's choice, definitely is going to be the RTX 380. This thing is going to sell like hotcakes, crazy. 8,704 shader cores, CUDA cores, whatever you want to call them, 28 billion transistors. <laughs> it's ridiculous on a 320 bit bus yeah cut down slightly but that's not going to matter it's doing 760 gigabytes per second in bandwidth 19 gigabytes per second of gdd gddr6x and pc express 4.0 absolutely amazing and it from what i've seen on digital foundry's video I, he couldn't disclose numbers due to nda but he was sim simply showing percentage and under normal rasterization um, circumstances, not even just with ray tracing, you're looking at about 1.7, 1.8x the performance of an RTX 2080, so almost two times the performance. That is pretty much giving you RTX 2080 SLI performance from the RTX 380, and it cost $699. <sighs> I mean, AMD, I know, you, I know you guys are cooking up something good, I know you got something good cooking up, but you're going to have to come. You're going to have to come with something real serious to beat an RTX 2080 Ti performing card at 699 price point. Now, let's move on to the, the juggernaut. Let's talk about the, the big, the big boy, the RTX 390. One, <laughs> 10,496 shader cores, CUDA cores. That's in, I'm just scratching my head thinking, how have they even pulled this off? I'm thinking maybe there's some type of simultaneous kind of hyper-threading type shader cores going on here. No way have they been off to cram over 10,000 CUDA cores into um, this GPU. But if they have, and there's no smoke and mirrors, no black magic involved, that's an incredible feat. Not only that, the card is coming out almost with a terabyte worth of um, bandwidth, which we all knew. But yeah, with a monstrous price as well, 1500 starting at 1500 mind you. That's a lot of money. That's more than double the RTX 380. I mean, most people are just going to say, screw it, I'm going with the, the RTX 380. I'm not going to pay double for uh, the 390, but for me, I've been preparing since January, I've worked hard, and I'm definitely treating myself to the RTX 390. I, I just got to experience it. it. It just looks like a 
an engineer in Marvel. And even when Jensen pulled it out, I was thinking, where's the RTX 390? He showed off the 370. He showed off the 380. We know there's a 390. Where is it? He pulls it out from the kitchen, from the from the cooker, from the stove, the oven. And then, and he's using words like beast, vicious, monstrous. He knows what it can do. We're all going to know what it can do very, very soon. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. So for those who don't know, the RTX 380 will be coming to market first, available on September the 17th. And the RTX 390 so, um, set to be released on the 24th of September. So both cards will be available this month. Um, I've already booked the time off work. I can't wait to get my hands on this 390. It's just going to be crazy. It's going to lock myself in my room for a week and just bench the hell out of this thing. For me, I know it seems ridiculous to spend 1500 on a GPU, but again, like I said, I've prepared digitally. I've, I've got the money to buy it. I get as much enjoyment for testing new hardware than I do for playing games. And this thing... It's to, let me just explain something that really caught my eye. What I was really, really impressed with is that it can do 8K with DLSS. They were showing like all these people coming in playing like Wolfen, uh, Wolfenstein, Youngbloods. They were playing Control and some, I think another game as well. But not only that, they seem to have upgraded Shadowplay. So that Shadowplay can now record in 8K with HDR. So for those who've always wanted to capture HDR content, it seems that Shadowplay will now be able to do that. They've also added the AV1 decode and of course native HDMI 2.1. So I'll be enjoying 4K 120Hz through my LG B955 inch OLED with G-Sync. Man, I just can't wait. It's just it's just exciting times all around. And barely contain my excitement. I'm just flabbergasted really i i can't believe what they've been able to pull off so um again like i said i'll still be getting a big navi gpu as well i've budgeted for that as well so um i'll be having um uh both both high-end cards on on the channel for you guys to enjoy and sample but man what a beast the rtx 390 and 380 are looking supremely impressive and i can't wait to get my hands on it that's pretty much all i've got to say about it guys i know i've been rambling on i'm just i feel like a, a kid lost in bloody toy store right now i can't wait to get my hands on this thing um so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and um take care <laughs>